Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada 11 chats. Oh hi. <laughs> I was waiting episode for that. four. Mm-hmm. We are a full week into the season now, episodes wise anyway, because they've been in the house for a little longer. Like almost two weeks. Mm -hmm. Last time, dead ass Renee <laughs> and Anika and uh, Dan are on the block. Right. Dan, tattoo Dan. Right. But Santina has a backdoor plan. For JM. She wants to put Jean Martin, Jean Michael, <laughs> up on the block because that's what Zach put in her head. Okay, so what we didn't see on the live feeds, which were not really live feeds, they were digital dailies. The digital dailies. dailies. The Dee Dee's. Mm -hmm. What we didn't see was Santina telling Anika that she was a pawn. Right. And the real target was uh, John Michael. Right, because Anika was really nervous about going up on the block. She did not want to do it, mm -hmm. but... Santina was like, look, this is what the plan is. You're not in any danger here. You don't have to worry. So she was like, oh, fine. I mean, she did tell her she was going to be safe. Right. Before she... Even before. Yeah. So I thought that that was pretty dirty from the digital dailies that she was like, all right, you're going up on the block. There was a if lot of stuff missing in the digital dailies that would have been nice to know. Yeah. But... We saw some crazy stuff tonight. Completely different. Usually, it's one way on the show, mm -hmm. and then it's completely different on the uh, live feeds. In real life? <laughs> yeah. This kind of is flip-flopped. Uh, right. Who knows if we're getting the full story anywhere, though? Yeah. You know? Because we could be getting two completely different stories, and neither of them are right. Exactly. So, Zach... Ty, Jonathan, Rob, Santina. That's the Lions. I mean, as long as Santina's HOH, right? Are they going to drop her like a turd once this week is over? I have a feeling they might. It's definitely possible. Zach's pretty proud of himself when he's pulled off these uh, less than two weeks. He thinks he's put together a pretty strong team. And I think all four of the, or five? Five. All five of these people were originally in the same mm -hmm. bedroom, like before Santina was HOH. You know what I got to say? What? Don't potty just yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. There's going to be some drama. <laughs> yeah. Zach and Renee. Renee's campaigning to Zach. Mm -hmm. Even before the veto, she's like, you know what? I want to lay the groundwork just in case, because let's face it. She didn't do so hot in those competitions before, which is why she's dead ass this week. Wow, she didn't do so hot at campaigning either. Mm. If that was her idea of campaigning, I'd hate to uh, think of what she would be like if she was not trying to campaign. Well, she was like sniffing around like, is there a guy's alliance? <laughs> Zach doesn't like that. He doesn't like being asked about that because it's true. But Zach he's like, no wants her out. This surprised me though because... I didn't realize that it came to a point where Zach wanted Renee out more, more than, than JM. JM. Like, what? Yeah. But I yeah. shouldn't be surprised because it's very on brand for these guys' alliances to want to target the women first. But remember on the Digital Dailies when they were all, like, ragging on uh, Hope when they were like, hey, maybe we should get Rob out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, get Rob out? Dan. Oh. <laughs> this is Dan. I know. Well, only certain people are allowed to yeah. make other suggestions like that, meaning either Zach or Ty. But if anybody right. else says anything, mm -mm, yeah. not allowed. But yeah, I did not realize uh, that that was why Renee was a target this week. Right. Because I remember they were like debating it on the digital dailies, like, oh, who would be uh, the target if it wasn't JM? And I wasn't sure why they were leaning towards Renee. Now we know, because that's mm -hmm. what Zach wanted. So the boys, they're starting to suspect that Renee is playing both sides. Uh-oh. Whatever that means. At this point, who are the two sides? Boys and not? The guys want her out, all except for Rob. Mm. Rob is just like, no. I. He feels like he's got a good connection out. with Renee, and he does not want to get rid of her this early. I guess the two sides would be the two rooms, pretty much. Yeah. At this point. I mean, I have to agree with him. She seems like a non-entity. I mean, I think she's very smart, and she's going to be able to pick up on things 
and strategize, but like we've seen she's not great in comps. I don't think she's so smart that she needs to be targeted right away. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Zach and Santina have a chat and he wants to know, is Renee working with you? <laughs> is she like, working now? with you? No! Is she a man? A muscle man? No. <laughs> so she's not working with her. Does she like Tostinos? <laughs> is she one of your hungry guys? No. No. So, so Zach says, I want Renee out. Mm -hmm. And Santino's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We have a plan here to backdoor John Michael. Like, what's going on? This Why are you changing was things up? All over the freaking place this first. It was messy. Yeah. Sloppy. Way, <laughs> way messier <laughs> than I thought it was from what we saw on the digital dailies. Yeah. Terrible. All right, so Shania and Rob. Mm hmm She likes him, but he's in the HOH room letting Santina pick his zits. Ugh. I'm sorry, that's so gross. She went to town on his face. Well, she's an esthetician, and she was giving him a facial, but, like, don't be touching other people's zits like that. Blech. I forgot she was an esthetician. Yes. I thought she was just into squeezing zits. No, I mean, there are people that are into that. Absolutely. Um, But there's a, definitely a love triangle going on here with Shania, yeah. Rob, and uh, Santina. And Rob comes over. Well, after Shania's, like, crying. Yeah. And she's got her girls, Claudia and uh, Renee, comforting her. And then Rob comes over, and he's like, uh, oh, what's wrong? Are you guys okay? What's what's going on? Oh, we're, we're okay. Making his sad face. Yeah. He's all fresh from a facial, and they're just like, <laughs> You look like you light a few zits. <laughs> all right, so Claudia and Ty also... Trouble in Paradise. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so disappointed that we did not get to see this drama play out on live feeds. Mm -hmm. But Which are we'll get there in a bit, yeah. I mean, like, on real, true live feeds, though. Do you miss home? <laughs> uh, she was going to town on his leg. The underknee area. It. Yeah, that's very, very telling. Ty, uh... After that leg was stimulated, said no. that uh, there's a plan uh, to get rid of JM. And Claudia said, oh, is there? I thought he told her about Renee. Oh, Renee. The plan was about Renee. Sorry. <coughs> there's, so many, there's so many freaking plans. I don't know what's going on I know. Anymore. I'm losing track. Maybe he was telling her about JM, but I'm pretty sure he was telling her about Renee at that point because Claudia was I like. I think you're right. Mm, because Claudia and Renee are, are tight. close. Yeah. They're good friends. So yeah. she's like, no, we're not doing that. All right. Well, let's abruptly go to the POV Pop, let's do it. <laughs> If you wanted to find out the whole, you know, oh, I picked this one, I picked that one. There's too many sponsors this season. Mm. They got to keep the lights on on this show. So a lot of the content, unfortunately, is on the website. So yeah, I thought, um, oh, wait, no, I was thinking of something else. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys know, just a reminder, um, the HOH does not play for right. the power veto in Canada. So right. So <laughs> they there was have, only five players, right? Yeah, the three nominees and then two extra players. Correct. So we've got... And the two extra players were Daniel and Ty. Daniel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Um, yes, Daniel, Ty, Dan, Anika, and Renee were Correct. all playing. All right, so the name of the competition was... Can't slop, won't stop. Oh, so it was a variation on a classic. Everybody loves the going back and forth and filling up on the big back. container with the small container. Right. But yeah, this one was different because you had to slide across the floor on your back. Blah. That's, mm. <laughs> Uh, at the Dirty Slop Factory. They're always finding new ways to do this competition. There was an extra element added here, too, because not only did you have to transfer the liquid back and forth, but once you got enough liquid, yeah, you got to mix up slop. your slop. That's it was all green. The, the slop factory. Yeah, and then you have to toss said slop into your barrel. Like a monkey throwing its poop. Yeah, and once you get enough in there, it weighs down the barrel, and, and then you you're done. win. Mm -hmm. And then you win. Guess what? Anika sucked, because she sucks at everything in this game. 
It seemed like the key to this one, you really had to get a good initial push off. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you could really glide. Dan and Ty, who were mm -hmm. the front runners in this, they were really getting far with just one push. Yeah. And then they could kind of use their arms on those bars. Right. Or whatever, pipes to get Ty to the Ty was end. a real rock star. And mm -hmm. it came, and it did, and it did come down to Ty versus Dan. At one point, Dan was actually leading. He got mm -hmm. to the slot part first. Right. Uh, but he was not having a good time with the tossing part. I guess all those Hello Fresh meals didn't prepare him <laughs> for this competition. No. Ty was way more accurate with his slop tosses. So Ty ended up winning the veto. Doesn't Ty play basketball? I think he said he plays a bunch of sports, but basketball was definitely one of them. Yeah. I don't think Dan did. He just goes... Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. All right, so... Renee was really upset that she didn't win. Yeah. Because mm. does she know the plan is to get rid of her? Possibly? I don't think she knew. But then again, we don't know what the frig is going it's on at very this true. point. We don't know what's actually I mean, happening in the house. could have been to her. Claudia it's could possible. have said, you know what... You really better win. You better gun for this POV because they want you out. Yeah, she could have said something. Yeah. So Zach and Rob. Zach wants Renee out, and Rob doesn't want Renee out. Again, it's a I recurring had theme here. No idea that Zach was pushing this hard for Renee no. to go over John Michael. He even got a little huffy. And Woo! Yeah. When, when he found out that Renee was not on the table anymore. Well, when Rob was like, no, I don't think that's a good idea, Zach is like, he storms off and he goes to talk to Ty and he's like, I can't do this anymore. I can't, I can't deal with him. He I can't talk to him. crying to his bromance. Yeah, um, because Zach and Ty definitely see themselves as like the leaders of that guy bro yeah. squad. Um, you think you're the number one guy in the group? Yeah. Well, you are. <laughs> they are the ones, like, pulling the strings at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so they're pissed that Rob is going We're against their... We're not going to get away. Yeah, against what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So Rob and Renee, they are HelloFresh warriors. HelloFresh ad spot. If anybody is really towing the line for this company, it is Rob and Renee. Mm. Rob I, is always demonstrating the HelloFresh meals. I feel like Dan is always cooking, too. Okay. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I, I feel like he's always in the kitchen, though. And then I thought for sure that this segment no, was right. going to be... No, you're right. You're right. Dan is definitely... Yeah. Yeah. I thought this segment for sure was going to be about like people being on slop, because that did come up at some point this week. They did not mention a GD thing about slop no. in this episode. <laughs> this would have been the perfect lead-in after that yeah. POV competition, but they didn't do it, so whatever. Maybe we'll see that tomorrow. Maybe we won't see it at all. That is so lame. It's uh, There's so many loose ends this season, mm -hmm. you know? So many loose ends. They just can't, they can't connect. Yeah. I all mean, right. it's the first week, so maybe they'll figure it out. I mean, they had extra time. Mm-hmm. You know, when this thing starts kicking, like a little kickback, you know, there's uh, there's not going to be time for mistakes. Yeah. So, Claudia and Ty. Oh, my God. Some of the pettiest oh, no, no, drama. No, 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 wait, no. <laughs> Santina and Renee. No, we're on this. Oh, okay. Ty, Some of the pettiest Ty drama and Claudia. on this show. You seem different. Are you okay? Is something uh, wrong? I don't, uh, I don't know. What, why wouldn't you, uh, why wouldn't you talk to me? Know. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We have such a hard time hearing mumble mouth Thai when we're, we're trying to watch digital dailies. Get the D's out of your mouth. We oh can't my hear. God. But yeah, he was clearly not happy with Claudia. She couldn't figure out why. So she, eventually she walks away, looks at the camera like, what? We'll come back to that. All right. So now Santina and Renee have a chat and she's campaigning to Santina. Yeah, Renee's like, um, please don't get rid of me. And it went a little <laughs> bit better than uh, when she spoke to Zach. Zach. Yeah, Santina was very receptive to what Renee was saying. She Renee said, was like, you're an asset. When I tell someone I'm with them, I am loyal. Mm -hmm. Loyal to the soil. And yeah. uh, Santina liked that. Yeah, she said, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. All right, Claudia and Ty again. Was, was it something I did? So, was it something I did? It comes out that Ty is upset because he claims that Claudia was like... I don't even Flirty? know if he actually straight up said this, but 
Claudia's like, was I like flirting with someone else? Like, what's the matter? And he's like, oh, you're wearing somebody else's sweatshirt. Oh, oh my, my God. God. So he is like having this attitude because Claudia is wearing Rob's hoodie. Are you freaking kidding me? Has he ever seen the show before? Do you know how much people swap clothes yeah. on this show? It's like a thing. It's for fun. You have a limited amount of clothing that you could bring with you. I cannot believe what a baby he is being over this. I cannot believe what a baby he's being over this when he didn't even take the showman seriously. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There is a huge ego here. I sensed it before, but mm -hmm. this sweatshirt thing is just like, mm-hmm. Yep. Saw that coming, something like that. I really wish that we could have seen this on the live feeds because it would have been a whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I mean like actual live feeds, not yes. digital dailies. Exactly. Because just to, like to, to track what was going it, on. It would have been nice to have <gasps> seen it on the digital dailies anyway. That too. But, but no. wow, Claudia, please run. Please run. <laughs> I'm really disappointed to say that she's still like around him in real time. Well, we don't know. Well, as of today's digital daily. Wow. Okay. But oh, this is just not good. She needs to cut her losses and get out of there. Well, Anika and Ty have a meeting, and she said, you better use the veto on me because I freaking picked you. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know. She picked him to play in the veto. That's going to be really embarrassing if I picked you to play the, vid the video. The video. If you won the veto and you don't use it on me. She's saying, you know, you're going to... Don't humiliate me. <laughs> if you use the veto on me, you're going to look like a stand-up guy to everybody because you followed through, you Who did your thing. Who is this, Lala? Yeah. He's a stand-up guy. He's a stand-up dad. Oh, okay. it turned out he wasn't. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, Anika is asking for the veto to be used. And he's like, all right, well, if you come down, like, who's going to go? And she said, I want JM out of here. And when she said that, he was like, all right, let's do it. So Santina and JM have a little tickle talk. This was like mean because Santina yeah. was all like, I'm only ticklish when, like, I'm selectively ticklish. Yeah. Basically, it sounded to me like she's ticklish when she wants the attention from her. Yes. Because she basically said that she's only ticklish when a, a guy that she likes tickles her so she was like uh if jm tickled me nothing i don't care but if it was a person that i actually liked i guess it's all damn. Fun, fun and games until it's time for the veto mm. all right so it's time for the veto okay <laughs> and ty uses the v the video on uh anika, anika. and santina puts up john michael <gasps> This is, like, a lot for week one because she promised him that he was safe. Uh, there were so many mm -hmm. in this. It was... And again, <laughs> we don't know what the full story is because we don't have the live feeds. But so, JM was pretty pissed. We do know, yeah, that he was, like, no hugs. He didn't want anyone, like, No hugs, him. no kisses, no tongues, no handshakes. He had a little mini meltdown in the diary room. Mm. We did not see any of uh, the fallout from that. I mean, that just freaking feeds. stings. I mean, he helped her to win that HOH. And I know in her DR, she was all like, uh, I don't owe him my game. Why are you giving your game to Zach then? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you giving it to Zach and uh, Ty? Does she even like, like Zach? Seems like she's more interested in Rob. Right? Right? But isn't Rob more interested in Shania? I don't know. There's that weird love triangle going on. I know. Or does he not... Don't is... forget, too, Zach has a girlfriend, so he's right. off the market. <laughs> Zach had a girlfriend unless somebody was super hot in the house, ah! and then he didn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, that's kind of what he said in his pre-show interview. Did he tell any of the girls that he had a girlfriend? I I don't know. We haven't seen it, so I don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure he told the guys, right? I got a girl at home. Like Probably. four months. <laughs> I thought Hope was the four-monther. I think or was they that both also? are. Okay. They both are. It's the magic number. I guess. Everyone's 28, and they've been in their relationships for four months. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. So let us know what you thought of this episode. We've got JM on the block with Renee and Dan, let us know in the comments who you want to go and who you think is going to go. Who do you want to go? Um, I don't want any of them to go, honestly. 
I know. I've grown to love Renee already. She's a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> and I feel bad for Dan. I like Dan as a person. JM, I think, would stir things up. So, like, I'm, I'm bummed to see any of the three go. I, my number one, my wish mm -hmm. on my wish list, first place in Amazon, is to uh, have no one go home. For yeah. Arissa to I get mean, up there and say, I don't think that's going to happen. But. Hey, um, we lost somebody already, so you know what? This week is, uh, it's April Fool's, early. <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. Who do you think is going to go? I think it's going to be JM. I think so, too. Yeah. I think people are just too scared to put their necks out there this early on. Yeah. To try and, like, flip a vote. I don't think it's going to happen. He doesn't have the votes. It'd be really exciting if it did happen, though. It would be crazy, but I just don't see it happening. Yeah. So let us know your thoughts in the comments. And we will be back tomorrow. So until then, much, much love. love.